Manchester Airport should be heaving this time of year. But if quiet airports are a sign of the times, so are travellers on tenterhooks. Until this evening, Ina was one of them. She's from Mallorca, a new green list addition. She hasn't seen her parents in months or her brother for two years. She's now able to fly out for a family reunion. So relieved. It's amazing. My daughter, you might hear her, but she is jumping up and down on, on her bed. <laughs> so it looks like the ceiling might fall. Um, it is a huge relief. It means um, it, it just, it, it, it feels almost like it's over. I, I know it isn't, but it's a huge relief, huge relief. The beaches of Mallorca are just one of the new green destinations, including Malta, the Balearics, and some Caribbean islands. And there's more good news for those fully vaccinated. Travel from amber countries without quarantine later this summer. I think that the real opportunity we all have now is to open up travel through the, the, double, the double jab. And if you look at it, we've got uh, more than 60% of our population have now had two jabs. I think 83% of you have had one jab. Uh, we're really getting through it now. The, the crucial thing is come forward and, and get your, your second jab. Now, I'm not going to claim that this summer, uh, for travel purposes, is going to be like any other summer. Uh, it, as I said, I don't want to cast a pall over things, but as I said the other day, it, it, it will be different. But there may be other blocks to a break. Cases are still soaring, European vaccines still trailing. The German Chancellor has called for all EU countries to impose quarantine for Brits on arrival. Even though there is reason to be hopeful, the pandemic isn't over, in particular in the world's poor countries. But in Germany and Europe, we're also still moving on thin ice. We need to remain vigilant, in particular the newly arising variants, especially now the Delta variant, are a warning for us to continue to be careful. It's becoming increasingly clear that the government's appetite for risk when it comes to this travel list is still relatively low. The priority, perhaps, getting the domestic economy back up and running. And while there's a glimmer of hope for the double jabbed, many still aren't willing to make those holiday bookings for fear the rules will change either here or in Europe and they'll have to cancel. And that's devastating for people like Gemma. Half the staff at her travel agency are on furlough. The other half have been made redundant. The uncertainty of the system compounding this industry's woes. Every time a minister says something positive about travel, the phones ring. Every time they say something negative, they stop ringing. And they stop ringing for longer. And in terms of what's being announced today, is it enough? It's not enough. It's a second lost summer and ironically it's a worse summer than last year and, and that seems inconceivable when we have such a highly vaccinated uh, population that they aren't able to travel as freely as they did last summer. All the new green list countries except Malta will be added to the so-called green watch list. It means they're at risk of being downgraded. Many are demanding more transparency and more specifics. For now, caution, still the order of the day. The wait for carefree travel continues. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News.